Hi guys, it's Mildred. Welcome back to my channel. Before I start my August Buju plan with me, I want to do a little unboxing of a tea subscription company called Sipsby, where you get four types of tea for $15 a month. Here I have my August collection. If you guys are interested in joining the tea club, I have a $5 off coupon for your first order. Take the quiz and get your own Sipsby box. Here are the following teas that I got. Jasmine Gold by Asheville Tea. The People's Green Tea by The Republic of Tea. Raspberry Rosé Oolong Tea by Tea Hand, and Just Peachy by David's Tea. Out of all of them, I chose the green tea, of course. It's super delicate and celebrated with a refreshing, smooth flavor and incredible health fit benefits. Time to energize your spirit, and now let's drink up and start bullet journaling. Okay, FYI, I know this is a super late August bullet journal planning with me, but we're just gonna go ahead and roll with it. For this month's theme, I chose Avatar, The Last Airbender. I absolutely loved the show when I was a kid. It was super deep, it was super funny, entertaining. I loved it so much, so might as well use it for my August theme. And it really went well because of the Avatar, which starts with A and August starts with A. So it kind of just went along together. So I just kind of watercolored the background first, and then Appa, and then small details of everyone of Team Avatar, as well as Momo, of course. And then a light blue background of the sky. I was kind of hesitant on maybe making a sunset color, but I did that somewhere else. And now I'm just calligraphying, calligraphying <laughs> the... August title in front. I did want a brush stroke type of look to make it like Asian-esque. So that's the front. And then here is the monthly calendar. I chose the spirit avatar, avatar spirit chakra type of theme where it's all galaxy-like and where it shows Aang being all like mysterious with his avatar state. There was a lot of color mixing with purples, blues, and pinks. So this was quite a little difficult because there was just so much to blend. So I did the same thing for the August title. And then colored Aang on the bottom right hand corner with the same type of blues and pinks. And then I went with my white jelly pen to ink some stars as well as the avatar like hand sphere thing in the middle. And then used my Sakura ink pen and did the dates and weekdays. And onto the next page is my mood slash habit tracker. Of course I did Princess Yue and the koi fish of yin and yang so for the right side i'm just coloring the clouds as well as the sky and then the left side the water of the koi fish a very very light blue around the spheres and those are going to be little moons of course i drew i draw i drew Sokka on the corner as well as like little stars with my white jelly pen but then i'll be filling this out with some half moons, full moons, etc. on the left side. And on to the next page is my currently page and expenses page. So I saw this picture on Pinterest. If you guys are interested in my inspiration, I'll link it down below in the description box. But I saw this one from Pinterest and it's super cute. It's Uncle Iroh and super old Zuko and they're just having some tea. And then the expense tracker is just cute little tea bags. I did change it up at the end because I thought it was really empty and just put some leaves everywhere. And on to the first week, I'll be showing you guys all four weeks that I did for the avatar theme. So obviously I did water for the first weekly spread and it's just Katara making this water bending fish dragon i think um it was a little hard trying to find her perfect blue color but i'm so glad that i found it it was a lot of mixing but 
It did take a while. I did some bubbles or water droplets and then some shading. And then to the next page is Toff the Earthbender. And of course I did a brown earthy green theme. So I'm just watercoloring her accents as well as the rocks that I drew. And then some background splashes of the bending that she was doing. I could have been doing like metal bending as well but the earth was a lot more justified and cohesive. So onto the next page is fire and of course it's Prince Zuko with his luscious dreamy boy hair and I'm pretty sure everyone had a crush on Zuko because I know I did. And then I'm just drawing up some fire bending dragon. I did drop some scales and then use the white jelly pen marker at the end. And the last page is supposed to be air but I did just draw Avatar Aang with all of the four elements. Water, earth, fire, and air. And then just colored his skin as well as the black background. So this is just a base but I will be putting a lot more details once I'm actually in this type of week. Here's the final flip through for the month of August. Thank you guys again so much for watching my bullet journal August theme. I will be linking everything down below in the description box as well as the Sips B Tea Company. But don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below, and see you next video. Bye!